a mysterious force is killing the great galaxies of the universe. September 25, 2019 And here comes Paul Severn again, reporting an astronomical event with his sense of humor. A mysterious force is killing the great galaxies of the universe. In the most extreme regions of the universe, galaxies are being killed. Its star formation is being deactivated and astronomers want to know why. This sounds like a big opening for a science fiction thriller but it's real. A team of Canadian astronomers is concerned enough about this phenomenon perhaps they realize that we live in a galaxy? And launched a project to study a nearby galaxy hoping to determine what mysterious force is destroying clusters of massive galaxies in a galaxy way that sounds very painful on a galactic level. It sounds like a great opening to a science fiction thriller but it's real. A team of Canadian astronomers is concerned enough about this phenomenon maybe they realize that we live in a galaxy? It has launched a project to study a nearby galaxy in hopes of determining what mysterious force is destroying massive galaxy clusters in a way that sounds pretty painful on a galactic level. This process leads to a slow and inexorable shutdown of star formation morbidly known as hunger or strangulation. Toby Brown, a postdoctoral fellow in astrophysics at McMaster University describes on the website the conversation what he and other astronomers have observed happening to galaxy clusters, groups of thousands of galaxies exerting massive gravitational forces on each other that propel them, traveling at high speed thousands of kilometer per second and heat the plasma between them until it shines in ultraviolet. They are the ingredients of the wildest dreams of a film industry CGI developer. It is not really the place you want to be. It is these interactions that can kill, or extinguish. Your star formation Brown is leading 30 colleagues in a new research program called Virgo Environment Traced in Carbon Monoxide Vertico. They will use the Atacama Large Millimeter Array ALMA, a set of radio antennas connected to the Atacama Desert in Chile, to map molecular hydrogen gas into 51 galaxies in the Virgo cluster, the Milky Way Closet Galaxy Cluster. Did they choose the Virgo cluster because it is closest or because it is about to strangle itself to death in a fire of cosmic glory that could impact the Milky Way? I realize that you are getting a little worried. According to Brown, Virgo is an ideal grouping to study because it is in the process of forming stars. This seems contradictory to the dying stars, but it happens during formation as new galaxies travel or fall through the cluster. As galaxies fall through clusters, Intergalactic plasma can quickly remove its gas in a violent process called ram pressure extraction. When you remove the fuel for star formation, you effectively kill the galaxy, turning it into a dead object in which no new stars are formed. In addition, the high temperature of the clusters can stop hot gas cooling and condensation in galaxies. In this case, the gas in the galaxy is not actively removed by the environment but is consumed as it forms stars. While am pressure decompression sounds like something that requires a heavy stripper pole, Brown says Unger is the two great ways to kill a galaxy in a cluster, and the Virgo cluster seems like the perfect spot for Vertico. Use ALMA to search for and map hydrogen molecules, which will guide the team toward possibly solving the mystery of what is killing galaxies on the edge of the universe. Note to Vertico. It will make a better movie if you encounter some aliens who are fleeing pressure from the rim or perhaps sending a ship with a baby to Earth.